Namaskaram to everyone. Good morning. As uh, most of you know that uh, Kaveri Calling as a movement has been on for a fortnight now in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. It's only yesterday, late evening, we came into Puducherry. Well, the moment is uh, three-pronged. One is uh, with the farmers, another is with the government, and the other is with the, uh, the, in the, in the public. Till now, uh, this is not another tree planting program. This is about transforming India's agriculture by bringing back tree cultivation along with various other forms of cultivation that we already have. And this is not some new rocket science. This is something that our farmers were doing always. But unfortunately, in the last 40, 50 years, we've uprooted all the trees. It's, uh, it's just a no-brainer, but unfortunately, that is the problem. People's brains are committed to something <laughs> except finding solutions. Today, we are living in a society where picking problems out of solutions is considered very intellectual. No, picking solutions out of problems is important. So, if you want India's soil to be rich and well, just to give you some perspective, 42% of Tamil Nadu's soil has been declared as fallow. That means in another 10 years' time, it'll be a desert. That's what it means, 42%. One of the most agriculturally rich uh, parts of the world, not the country. We have a history of over 12,000 years of agriculture. And for 12,000 years, we formed the same land. But these generations of people maintain the fertility of the soil. But in two generations, we've brought this simply because there are no leaves from the trees and there is no animal waste. Trees are gone long time ago. 87% of the tree cover has been removed and animals are all going abroad. So without animal waste and leaves from the trees, there is simply no way you can keep soil rich. Without soil being rich, the rain that comes upon us is not stored in the soil, it is running on the surface. This is all our basic problem is. <coughs> in the last hundred years, our monsoons have on an average been the same, nothing has changed. It is just that it is not happening when we want. This is essentially because we don't have enough tree cover. Where there is substantial tree cover, between the treetops and the clouds, there is a certain communication. I have been talking about this for 30 years, but uh, these things have been dismissed by textbook scientists for a long time, saying that this is all rubbish. But today, Modern scientists have come to this, that there is a phenomenon called transpiration happening between the treetops and the clouds. Literally, the trees, if they are substantial in number, in a, in a contiguous land, they are able to order the amount of rain they want. This is what modern science is saying today. Uh, you know, we have been talking about this forever, but it was not science, it was superstitious. Now it has become science because uh, we didn't have the right skin. I think my skin color is the problem. <laughs> yes, uh, it has to come from the West for it to be science, unfortunately. So we've, we've wasted a lot of time destroying this land. But as there are problems staring in our face, there are also solutions staring in our face as a generation of people. Will we pick problems or will we pick solutions? This is all we can decide. And uh, this Kaveri calling is a solution to put back enough organic material in the soil because it, every study has shown that uh, if you increase the organic content in the soil by 1%, each acre of land can sequester about 60,000 liters of water per year. 60,000 liters. So you don't have to get water from Godavari or you don't have to have trains coming in with water. The rainwater that's coming, which is substantial, if we're able to hold it. The greatest reservoir on the planet is soil. 
all the rivers put together, all the rivers on the planet, if you see how many cusacks of water they hold, the soil is capable of holding eight times of that, eight hundred percent more. It is just that we have not kept the soil in the right condition. So, this is about reclaiming Tamil soil. This is very important because without having a rich soil, there is no such thing as a rich life. The future generations cannot live here if we don't keep the soil rich and because of various other things that Kaveri is not flowing into the ocean for almost five months now, marine ingress is happening. Salt water has come in up to seventy kilometers. It can come up to hundred to hundred and thirty kilometers. We have a coastline of seven thousand four hundred kilometers. If it comes in hundred kilometers all along, we've lost one third of India to salt water. So that's where we are heading. It's very, very important the rivers flow twelve months of the year. So this is an economic plan for the farmer because we have already converted over seventy thousand farmers to agroforestry in the last eighteen years and we have found in five to seven years most of them are earning between three hundred to eight hundred percent more than what they were earning. So it is a miracle for the farmer and it will be a miracle for the land and it's also very good for the administration. We've just made calculations for <coughs> Tamil Nadu alone. By the eighth year, Tamil Nadu government will be earning, if one third goes under agroforestry, Tamil Nadu government will earn twenty-nine thousand crores worth of GST. So it's a win-win for the farmer, for the government and the people and the land. So this is something that must be done. This is not my project. This is not a particular organization's project. This is a generational work. It's something that all of us should stand up and make this happen. Thank you very much. It's a very special blessing. We stole a little time out of Sadhguru's very, very busy schedule. So the Rajdevas gets blessed and there's a larger blessing. Thank you.